What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're looking at Super Rugby New Zealand Round 6 predictions and what a weekend we have in store. The top of the leaders, the Crusaders, beating the Blues last weekend in an absolutely incredible rugby match. They are on a break this weekend so we're seeing the likes of the Hurricanes take on the Blues, the Blues are travelling and then the Highlanders travelling over to the Chiefs. These teams are wanting wins. These teams are winning wins. Hurricanes on a two-match winning streak. You've got the Blues will be upset from losing last week or want to work on the mistakes and then bring back their wins. You've got the Chiefs who are wounded, um, who need to get a win this season. And you've got the Highlanders who started off strong, had a few solid games, but just haven't picked up that all-important victory that they much need going forward. So it's going to be an interesting weekend and I think we're going to be entertained with great stuff. Obviously the Blues are going away so let's start off with that one. They're going into Wellington which obviously you've got home advantage, you've got all that momentum going with you so technically if we go at it, you'd think the Blues, the, the Hurricanes will be favourites but the one thing's for sure, you can't write off this Blues team and I think what everyone's excited to see is the Barrett brothers, the Battle of the Barrett brothers. Jordy Barrett obviously returns from injury when they previously met a couple of weeks back. We know that he was injured. Now he got him back. Bowden Barrett's been in the news. Should he be benched? Should he be a starter? What's going to happen to him? Can he be a star for the, the Blues? We'll have to wait and see. It's all these questions could be asked this weekend. And that's the beauty of the sport. How we can see a team come back, bounce back from a big loss and bounce but continue a winning streak, which both these teams need to do. Head to head, as mentioned before, they've met 34 times. Hurricanes leading 17 games to 16. Um, they've obviously met one time before with the score 30 to 20. The Blues picking up that victory not too long ago, a few weeks ago. In Wellington, they've met 14 times with the Hurricanes leading seven games to six. And recently, technically, the Hurricanes lead before this one, winning eight matches from the last 10. So if you look at the stats, the Hurricanes are favourites, but we can't write off the success that the Blues have done. It should be an interesting game where we should see a hell of a battle. And if these guys can work on their momentum and, and work on the mistakes, discipline for me has been a headache for the Blues. And if they're not disciplined on this game and they're not getting the it and if they don't do well with their handling errors, it could cost them. So they need to be focused. They need to be strong. They need to be have the momentum going forward. So for me, they really need to be sharp because the Hurricanes are on a winning streak. They're looking good. They're coming back. They've got great players. TJ Perinara had a stunning game um, last weekend, so you've got to watch out for him. Jordy Barrett, I mean, Ardi Savier. You've got all these talented players, but the Blues do too. Predictions-wise, it's going to be a tough battle. Uh, we're going to see a lot of up and down playing. Um, and it's going to be bloody intense. I really f feel it's, it's going to be a tough fought match. I mean, Blues Hurricanes last time wasn't too shabby, but um, I think this game being in a home ground for the Hurricanes, the Hurricanes wanting to get more wins under the belt before the season ends, it's going to be a, a strong movement for them. So I think it's going to be a very close game, and I don't think it's going to be 10-point difference like it was la last uh, couple weeks ago. I think this could be a three-point difference game. And it could come down to the last five minutes. I predicted that with the Crusaders and I was right. The Blues just seemed to switch off a little bit in those last 15 minutes. They need to be focused. I do, however, feel that they could win. But um, I do also feel that the Hurricanes could win. So as much as I'm supporting the Blues and I want the Blues to win, I'm actually going to give this win, and I hope I'm wrong, to the Hurricanes by three points. Home advantage. And I just think the momentum that they're currently playing with a little bit better and showing the progress, I'm going to give it to the Hurricanes to take that game. Should be a good one. Now, Chiefs versus the Highlanders. Chiefs, unfortunately weak, being in a lot of the news. Is Warren Gatlin the, white, the right guy? Um, is it working? Are the teams gelling? Why haven't they won? Why have they been on a losing streak? You know, it's, it's, it's a tough position to come in from when you're so used to the European style and coming in. I don't blame Gatlin at all. I just think this tournament has been so intense that it's been a hard battle, hard fought battle. And it hasn't been like the Chiefs have been walloped. And they've had their moments and they've had their opportunities and they've had their stars really shine. 
They just need to keep focus and keep that momentum going forward. Um, Highlanders, another team. Yes, they've had a couple losses now recently in a row. But they started off this tournament good. And in games that they lost, they weren't thumped. They've shown a lot of improvement since what we saw at the start of the year where that was poor. So for me, credit to the Highlanders. And credit to Aaron Smith last week. He, he really shone and was one of the star players um, in Super Rugby in round five. So for me, it's phenomenal what we're seeing from these guys. And they'll want to keep this momentum going and keep the attitude and the positivity flowing in so that they can keep hunting on, as they say in South Africa. Predictions wise, it's always tough to predict on a game like this because the Chiefs. Obviously at home, you'd say that's the advantage, but the current format we've seen the Chiefs, can they do it? Can they hold it till the end? Will the Highlanders pick up another win? Last time these two teams met was not too long ago, and it was 28-27, one point difference. Hence why I say the Chiefs haven't been smashed. Previous time it was a draw earlier this year. The time before that, the Highlanders won. So the Chiefs are going to want revenge, and they're going to be at home. Last time they played it um, at home, the Chiefs actually they, they lost that one by three points. However, it's a new week. It's a new round. I think that the team that's going to win this weekend again, like I predicted in the previous game, it's not going to be a highest point scoring game. It's going to be probably three points. And I'm going to give it to the Chiefs. They're bound to win a game. I just don't see them going a whole season without losing. And I feel if there's a time, it's now. The Highlanders have been on a little bit of a dip now. So now the Chiefs should have their tails up and realize, okay, we can take an opportunity going forward and, and, and get a possible win. So for me, I'm going to give this one to the Chiefs. Chiefs by three points, um, and it's going to be close. Um, Dunedin, obviously, we, we saw a different result. But now you're going to Hamilton. Now we should see another different result. And therefore, I'm going Chiefs to pick up the win. Anything can happen. That's the beauty of the sport. That's the intensity of the sport. So we could see a surprise. We could see a shock. But for me personally, I'm going to give this victory um, to the Chiefs. So the Chiefs to win and the Hurricanes to win. I had a good week in Super Bowl last week. Will I have a flop or will I continue? Let's wait and see. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Who do you think is going to take this one? Thanks so much for watching. As usual, stay safe and never give up. And enjoy the rugby. Cheers. Subscribe to his channel for more rugby content. You won't regret it. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.